I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. I really like the look of the salt glazed Crocs. They're difficult to find and can be quite expensive when you do find them. This one is actually my mom. She's let me borrow it so I can try to match the coloring on this Croc. I bought this Croc at a thrift store and it was fairly inexpensive so I'm going to use it to experiment to see if I can get the same look as the salt glazed croc using paint and other supplies. The first thing I'm going to do is take some rubbing alcohol and use an old rag to wipe down the entire surface of the croc and that will just remove any residue or anything else that might be on the croc that might keep the paint from sticking. Then I'm going to let that dry thoroughly. Then I will take it outside and I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum stone. It's a textured paint and bleached stone color. And it says that it is good to use on glass. So I can just paint it right on here without having to do any kind of prep work first on the croc. I have allowed the speckle paint to dry overnight and as you can see it's created quite a nice texture on there. I'd never used the texture paint before and I thought it might have a little bit of color to it as well as the colored texture but it didn't really cover up the coloring on the crock. So I'm going to now paint it, paint the entire crock with this Apple Barrel Antique White color. I'm going to let that dry and I will probably have to come back and do another coat of paint to cover up all of the blue. The inside of the antique salt glaze crock is brown. So I'm going to paint the inside of my little crock a dark brown also. I've got folk art number 462 burnt umber. I'll let that dry. The first coat of cream paint is dry and it really almost covered up all of the blue, but I'm going to go ahead and give it one more coat of cream paint. I have let the second coat of paint dry overnight and now I am ready to add a design to the front of the crock. I would like to make it look like a bee sting crock so I have drawn this design and I'm going to use a piece of tracing paper and place it over the crock where I want it. And then I'm going to just trace the design This is just tracing paper, carbon paper. You can get it in the craft section, the art section of craft supply stores. I'm going to lift up. I'm 
It's very light, but I can trace it with my pencil. Then I've got some navy craft paint. It's Apple Barrel True Navy. I'm going to use a very thin, stiff brush. And I'm going to dab the excess paint off before I start painting. Now I will let that dry good. In order to determine how to age it to give it a more aged, distressed look, I painted this board with the speckle paint and then with the same antique white paint that I used on the crock. And then I tried several different things. I used this walnut stain right here and I used this wax here and I used this wax in this spot and then up here I used this Minwax special dark and when I hold it up next to the crock the walnut stain is very similar the other three just aren't really the right shade so I'm going to use the walnut stain so I will take this outside and I'm going to apply it with a rag unfortunately I forgot to hit the record button when I first stained the crock but what I did was dip the rag into the stain and wiped it on in a circular motion like I'm doing here and then I just used another rag to kind of wipe it back off again using a circular motion the final step was to apply a coat of clear protectant finish and a matte and I just took this outside and sprayed a light coat of it all over to protect the finish. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.